Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is Nest Protect V2. As you see, I'm also comparing it with Natatmo Smart Smoke Alarm, which I'll be unboxing and reviewing separately. But this is an unboxing video and a review to talk through Nest Protect V2 and how it functions as a smart smoke alarm and what I like about it. And there is a lot of things to like about it, actually. It's a very intelligent smoke alarm system from Nest that includes a number of interesting designs. Now it's worth noting before I get started that Nest Protect is available in wired and wireless versions. I am testing the wireless version which comes with six long life AA batteries and um, which are said to last for five years and the device itself is meant to last for ten before it needs replacing which is pretty standard for smoke alarms whether smart or not it is recommended that you replace them within 10 years of purchase. Now this is a Wi-Fi compatible smart smoke alarm with a built-in microphone, built-in speaker and a self-testing system. It also has split spectrum sensors that allow it to detect the difference between fast and slow burning fires and it has a built-in 10 year um, capable carbon monoxide detector as well. So as well as detecting smoke and fires, it's also capable of do detecting carbon monoxide, which the Nisatmo smart smoke alarm is not. So that right there is a reason to purchase this one. It also has several other sensors built into it that includes a humidity sensor to prevent it from going off when you have a hot shower, which is pretty cool, although I wouldn't recommend installing it in your bathroom because it's not meant for that. As you'll see during this process, it has uh, some easy installation set up that includes some self-tapering screws and a back plate, which basically means that you can just screw it straight into the ceiling or wall. You don't need to drill any holes, which is a bonus in itself. You'll see Nest Protect V2 has a pretty funky design to it. it has this speaker-like front to it. It also has a push button in the middle that you can operate like a standard smoke alarm. You also note on the back there's a micro USB input that is for updating firmware if you need to plug it in. You can attach it to the base plate and disconnect it quite easily so if you ever need to take it down and do stuff like that you can. In theory you can also do it over your smartphone with ease. It also has a six RGB color lighting ring that goes around the middle button and that has a amber uh, traffic light system which basically is either amber green or red and blue for during the setup period as you'll see in a minute but basically that allows you it uh, warns you of different things so amber is a pre-warning system which basically tells you there's something potentially wrong in the home and then red is for full-blown emergencies if there's a carbon monoxide or fire emergency that you need to be aware of now because it's a smart smoke alarm it operates by sending you notifications on your phone as well as going off like a standard smoke alarm and you'll see that in a bit later on as I put it through it's put it through the right paces with some smart smoke alarm tester or some smoke alarm tester kit. You can see on the back uh, the warnings on when it should be replaced and, and the easy access hatch for replacing the batteries should you soon need it. Now, as I was saying, the traffic light system, it has a green light which tells you when everything's fine. That has um, a pretty cool functionality that it comes on at night and basically lets you know that everything is okay in the home. Uh, it's all is well message at night. It's called the nightly promise. It also has a thing called path light mode, which is where the Nest Protect lights up with a white hue as you walk past. So it has a motion detector built into it. And at night when you walk out of your bedroom or whatever, it'll light up that area and let you go to the bathroom without having to turn lights on, which is a pretty cool functionality in itself. As you can see here from the setup process, it's pretty straightforward. If you have the Nest app, you can basically just scan the QR code and get that device paired straight into your Nest app with ease. I'd recommend doing it before you install it. That way you can test it around the house and make sure that where you're installing it there is Wi-Fi in that area because if you have any black spots you obviously don't want to put it in in that place because that would just be not great. Um, you can adjust a multitude of settings within the app that includes turning those lights on and off that I was talking about so for example if you want to turn path Hello, light down nest. you can. Ready. That will obviously Press improve the battery life but the batteries are said to last this five years as long as the alarm's not going off the constantly. Alarm sound. The alarm is loud. The test starts in 10 seconds. You can hear, Press you can cancel. test 10, easily. 9, 
and I'll just show you what that's seven, like quickly. Six, five, four, three, two, one. This is only a test. Testing smoke. Testing carbon monoxide. As you can see, it's fairly loud. It has an 85 decibel siren and a two watt speaker. So it has those voice enabled commands where it can tell you what's happening, whether there's an emergency, whether it's carbon monoxide detected or not, uh, or whether there's the a fire. You'll see that again in a Everything bit more later on in the video uh, and the different way that works. Obviously I couldn't test carbon monoxide, but it's quite reassuring to have that warning uh, system in place for carbon monoxide detection. Other cool things that Nest Protect does, which I really like, is if you have cameras in the house, Nest cameras, it will automatically capture a recording of what's happening at that time over the cameras when the smoke alarm was going off, which is pretty handy. Although if you've got outdoor cameras, all you're going to see is the outside of the house while the inside's on fire, which isn't ideal. But one thing I really do like is if you have a Nest thermostat, very clever functionality is that it pairs up with that. So if you have a carbon monoxide detection in the house, if there's carbon monoxide detected, Nest will automatically shut off your heating. Now, obviously, that won't prevent the problem of carbon monoxide. and You still need to get the hell out of your house and alert the authorities. But it does mean that the problem won't get worse, potentially, if it has that shut off, which is pretty cool. That's a very good functionality. So it's worth having Nest Protect if you already have Nest products. If you have Nest cameras and you have a Nest thermostat, it's worth considering this as an option. You can see here the instructions and what the various lights mean. As I said, blue is the initial setup period. That's also testing. So when it's ceiling mounted or wall mounted, you can press the button. Connected. It will light up blue to let you know everything's fine and will talk you through pressing it again to set off a test. Green lets you know everything's fine. It's working well. It's connected to the Wi-Fi. You will see amber or yellow if you if it has a problem connecting the Wi-Fi for any reason at any time. I have seen that a couple of times randomly. Uh, it could just be because I've got so many Wi-Fi devices in the house and it's have an issue. Even if it's not connected to Wi-Fi though, it does work. It still sends the alarms and it sends us, it gives the sirens. You just don't get the notifications on your phone necessarily. Um, but I'll be honest, I haven't seen this problem much at all. In fact, the notifications are very good and they're very timely. Other intelligent things that you can do with Nest Protect is you can tie it in with If This Then That, which may allows you to access a variety of recipes, which include the ability to change your Philips Hue lights to red if a smoke is a alarm is detected or a, the siren goes off. So all the lights in your house will turn to red, uh, which is obviously pretty handy as a visual aid if you don't hear the siren for some reason. Now Nest Protect and other smart smoke alarms, they recommend that you install them in multiple areas of the home. I have this one installed upstairs. They are uh, around a hundred pounds. So, you know, it's quite an investment. If you have a big house, it's probably worthwhile doing. I suppose you could have several around the home if you want to ensure the protection. You'd hope that the smoke alarm system was good enough to detect smoke in a different room. Um, but if you want peace of mind, you can install them in your kids' bedrooms, your bedroom, hallways. Obviously, you have to avoid bathrooms and kitchens for false alarms. But the sensors on this system are meant to handle burnt food easily and not have a problem. And I must admit, we did manage to burn some sausages uh, under the grill and it didn't give us a false alarm. The system is also clever enough that it detects when smoke has dissipated, which you'll see later in the video. Uh, basically, if... It detects smoke initially. If it detects a small amount of smoke, it will give you that pre-warning, as it will say, warning, smoke has been detected, and it will tell you where. So if you've got multiple alarms and you can set them up, and it will tell you whereabouts in the house they're detected. Um, and then it will go to a full-blown alarm. If the full-blown alarm is going off and then the smoke dissipates, so there is no more smoke, it will cancel itself. You can also silence the alarm from your phone, obviously because that's part of it, or you can do it by standard pressing of the button. Now you can see I've got some smoke alarm tester spray here, which basically allows you to spray and replicate what it would be like if there was a smoky fire conditions. I'm not gonna set fire to my house for the purposes of a video, but this spray is a professionally recognized spray that I've got off Amazon. You can buy several kits like this for testing purposes. I've actually tested this multiple times to make sure I'm being thorough. You can see what the alarm is like now as it's mounted. Emergency. There's smoke. Upstairs. 
Yeah, notification isn't instant there, but then it does appear the and you get the ability to silence it within the app. Emergency. Obviously that's going to depend on your signal. There's smoke. But it is in within the Nest app, so you don't need to be in the home to see it. And you can see the uh, when it's not going off, you can see everything's okay. You get that Nest Protect message there. And also if you go into the history, you can see when it went off. Although I did find that that doesn't update instantly, but you can see when it's been off previously and when everything's been okay previously. You get a nice history as you do with Nest. You can also set it to test within the app and it tests on a regular basis, tests, tests itself. And there's all sorts of sayings that you can go in there to make sure it's testing itself regularly. And that's why it's got the built-in microphone and speaker system. So it enables it to do that. So this has been the Provoke Prawn. This has been a summary, review and unboxing of Nest Protect V2. A product I really like actually. It's very good, especially if you've got any Nest products. If you like this video, please subscribe and come back for more in future. Thanks for watching. This is the Provoke Prawn signing out. Smoke alarm is over.